Uh, no, I think I haven't spoken about that before. Okay, 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 fine. We shall go to that topic then because that uh, that topic I have with me here. Okay, okay. fine. So, would you uh, now you, this topic? You're too young for this topic, but still, would you like to even retire? Uh, <clears throat> I don't know, like what to say whether I I should say yes or not because I am not someone who can just sit idle and do nothing. So, in my case, I would say no. I would not like to retire. I just would like to live a life whether my responsibilities will be less and i will have less burden on me means i want to work but i just want to work to like spend my time or enjoy my time or keep learning or to keep learning uh, i don't want to like get retired and sit at home and like wait for the people they will come to me they'll entertain me like i need people to spend my time I don't want to go in that zone because nowadays, like we are uh, seeing people, like old age people who are retired and they are just sitting at home, and some are like still looking for some opportunities or something to, like yeah, to spend their time basically. So yes, I think that concept would be better for future generation that they should not get retired. It's just that their responsibilities should go, uh, should get less. Okay, so as you said, you just don't want to stay idle. Okay, of huh. course, but you don't want too many responsibilities also uh, at your retirement age. Responsibilities, yeah, because I think uh, we, I have already lived the life where I have taken care of all the responsibilities, like my life. Uh, I made my children stable, and they are responsible for their own. bread and butter now so i don't want to uh, work to like feed feed my family now i just want to work uh, for myself i want to build a better community a community to spend my time or to like share my ideas with them to listen from them that's how i want to spend my uh, like 70s or 60s okay okay so as you said you have already fulfilled all the duties and responsibilities Okay, so yes. it is up to your children to take care. But only thing is, you want to be happy. Okay. Yes. Uh, you want to socialize and you want to be happy and you want to become active also instead of idling exactly. away. Okay. Exactly. Now, at what age do you want to retire? At what age? Yes. Okay, so I think I would stick to sixty only because that is the uh, standard age. Uh, for retirement like after 60 you get retired whether it is like a uh, government job or now in corporate also like mostly in corporate we don't have any age criteria but 60 i think yeah, i would like to stick to that so that uh, from 60 to more 20 years i can live my life the way i want to i can do the things which i haven't done in uh, till my 60 so that's why i think 60 would be fine for me Okay, so at the age of sixty, you would still be active to pursue your passions also, your hobbies yes. which you didn't find time earlier. You can always pursue. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, why is it important to have a retirement plan? Why it is important? Okay, so I think I have already uh, half answered this question in whatever I have said in the beginning. retirement plans are important because you don't want to live that uh, same life uh, like for all the time and uh, after your 60s also or after your 70s also that's why retirement plans are really important and i think retirement retirement plans are something maybe like you need to save for yourself you need to have some fds and all but in my case it is different uh, what i am thinking is from my perspective retirement plan should be uh like you can have your own time without any restrictions no one should call you and tell you that hey you didn't come to office or you didn't do this do that the all like you can have your own time you can do whatever you want to do and of course i think we are living in a modern world now everyone has their savings and their uh, provident funds and everything and everything have days so that would not be a concern now previously that was a issue like when you get retired you will get some retire fund and then you can spend your life 
but now everyone is quite aware about the things everyone is self dependent even they are like young or they are or they are mid like mid age people or they are retired people everyone has their um, you know backup plan like how to spend my rest of the life so i think financial uh, conditions or uh, will not apply uh, apply here because in uh, in our uh, when we are doing service then only i think we plan everything and we save some sort of funds or money for our uh, like retire for for our after retire life after okay. retirement maybe so yeah i think now it's it has changed now it's different earlier it was like how will you spend your life after retirement uh, what if your um, your children uh, will not look after you so that was the case before but now it's no more everyone is like quite um, prepared okay so as you rightly said uh, like uh, people are prepared now when they are young itself they start saving money okay they invest in so many policies they have enough money so when they retire when they stop earning also they still have a good exactly. income with them yeah okay. insurance so that is yes. sorry no no you continue continue nowadays there are so many insurance plans and policies which are offering us to like uh, invest till this age or till this period and then you can get the benefits easily by setting home only you will get that fixed amount of uh, income in your hand so that's how it will be easy now it will be yeah it will be easy now yeah correct so now it is very easy so financial crisis many people if they plan properly and if they invest properly then they will definitely won't have as you said time management after yeah. retirement your entire time is yours and how you spend the time it all depends on that then your retirement your life will be very happy okay fine Uh, how would you like to spend your days where would you like to spend your retirement days with city or which village you want to go back to okay so since i have been living in city and i have actually lived my <clears throat> uh, entire life or most of the life in city i would like to obviously explore some places which are close to nature where i can spend my time alone and i can actually understand the environment and the nature and i can leave those moment which i have missed in my uh, young age i think so yeah obviously different places i would like to travel i would like to go mostly in india because i think there are so many places in india where you go and explore so yeah i would like to travel i would not not only like to live in city or in village i will keep changing my places so that i will have different experiences and i can also share my experiences to the people whom i'll meet in my journey or while traveling maybe so yeah okay so as you said you would like to explore new places especially in india and you will keep traveling okay what arrangements have you made for your retirement if at all you have made any arrangements what are the arrangements you think you have made okay so i think we are uh, running out of time nowadays so there are things which we say that okay i'll do this later i'll do this later and some uh, things which which are not uh, which some things which doesn't require time or like you should do this now only otherwise you cannot do it like learning a hobby or learning a skill or maybe going to some places so maybe i am going to list down a few things which i am going to do after my retirement which i am not able to do right now due to my like uh, obviously day to day activities or my responsibilities or my job it can be anything so i'm going to list down uh, those things and i'm going to work on like each and everything that i couldn't uh, do right now or till 60 so that's how i'm going to spend my uh, retirement after 60 like uh, people have their um, you know um, 
what should i say that list like my house and then uh, travel and everything they they are they have the list like things to do before 30 or things to do before 40 so i am going to list bucket, bucket list you're yeah, talking about kind bucket of bucket list, list. uh okay. but not specifically by bucket list only because bucket list is something you it is not necessary that you will uh com- you will like fulfill that bucket list all the time but these things i think i am going to list down and i'm and i'm pretty sure that i will be able to do that because these are the things i am not able to do uh because like lack of time i'm not able to do it right now so after retirement i will have a lot of time because uh, of course there will be no responsibilities there are no restrictions no one is going to ask me that you have to do this so yeah i am going to spend my retirement like that like doing the things which i was not able to do to do lack of time okay. and so as you said uh, now we said you try to jot down okay uh, like the things which you are not able to do now but after retirement you will uh, start or you develop a new hobby or something like that or pursue your passions yeah which arrangements would you like to make okay fine i will just keep this how would you manage your finances when you retire finances i think uh, finances will not be the issue for me because i will plan things in advance i will invest in some uh, i will invest somewhere so that i can get the benefit out of it uh, like after my retirement and i can use that money to like spend my rest of the time at the same time if like if i can and i am an active person i can work uh, work somewhere part time maybe so that my time uh, i can spend my time easily and i'll get some money out of that so that is the plan for uh, financial um, things and uh, okay. yeah like insurance things I, i have already mentioned maybe i am going to invest in, in uh, such kind of schemes where i am going to get benefit or get income like fixed amount of income okay so as you said already some investments which you are going to do will uh, will bear fruits later and some kind of part time job also you can take up yeah i can so do that uh, yeah so that uh, you get some steady income Okay, and yes. at the same time you're busy also. Okay, uh, where would you like to spend your retirement years? Like, have you decided the place or the? As you said, uh, you are not going to stick to one place. You will try explore new places. Okay, or uh, would would you take up any new hobbies? Yeah, I would like to. Because uh, I think when you have idle time, you should better. invest it or spend it somewhere uh, from which you can learn something and hobbies if if not like hobby then maybe some skills or some learnings i would like to take up because okay. there is no age to learn so you should keep learning so that my enthusiasm will be like maintained yeah uh, would you start a new business or do some other work Okay, so I said part-time job. I can do yeah. that. Business things. It depends on what come what come my way because I have a lot of experience now. So I better know where to invest, where to not. Uh, for like which business would be beneficial for me or for my next generation. So if something good or something beneficial uh would would come to me, I would definitely going to like. uh invest in that or i would definitely start business or i will at least give a partnership to someone to specially a young one who is going to start but he is like uh lacking of money or experience or something okay. like that so i would like to help that person to like go forward and start something new and i would like to be a partner or invest okay. okay so as you said you may not be totally involved but at least helping someone Okay, by investing some amount and becoming a partner. Okay. Yes. Okay. Have you seen someone enjoy their retirement, like any of your relatives or your neighbors? 
Mm. Frankly speaking, I haven't seen a lot of people enjoying their retirement. Maybe after this generation, people uh, will going to uh, start enjoying their. People will enjoy their uh, retirement because nowadays people are nowadays people are quite aware about the finances and how to like invest their time, how to spend their time, what are the things they can learn, where are the places they can go, how to. uh use uh android phone how to use computers laptops so i think next generation would be more uh proactive and they they will enjoy their retirement a lot nowadays people are enjoying but those only i think who are quite educated or who knows how to interact with people and how to like kill their time maybe other than that people are just dependent and when people are dependent